This video will be on math examples. After you see the math problems worked out, you'll start to catch on how to do them yourselves. So let's get started on MathCat. Three, two, one. Let's begin adding simple fractions. We will add four sixths to one eighth. Now in order to add fractions, your bottom number has to be the same. In order to make the bottom number the same, you have to find the lowest common multiple. So to find the lowest common multiple of six and eight, the lowest common multiple is 24. And six times four is 24. And eight times three is 24. In fact, 24 is the lowest number that both six and eight will go into, and that's why it's called the lowest common multiple. So to make this bottom number 24, you have to multiply by four. And if you multiply the bottom number by four, you have to multiply the top number by four. Over here, you have to multiply 8 by 3 to get 24. And if you multiply 8 by 3, you have to multiply the top number by 3. So on the top here, we have 4 times 4 is 16. And 6 times 4 is 24. And over here, we have 1 times 3 is 3. And 8 times 3 is 24. And now we can add these fractions because the bottom number is the same. So to add the fractions, you add the top numbers across. 16 plus 3 is 19. And you keep the bottom number the same. So the answer is 19 over 24. Let's try another example. Let's add 4 ninths and 1 sixth. In order to add these two fractions, the bottom number has to be the same. In order to make the bottom numbers the same, we first have to find the lowest common multiple. So we find the lowest common multiple of 9 and 6, and it's 18. In fact, 9 times 2 is 18. And 6 times 3 is 18. So knowing that, in order to make this bottom number 18, we have to multiply it by 2. And if we multiply the bottom number by 2, we have to multiply the top number by 2. And over here, we have to multiply by 3, because 6 times 3 is 18. And if we multiply the bottom number by 3, we have to multiply the top number by 3. So let's do our multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. 9 times 2 is 18. Over here we have 1 times 3 is 3. 6 times 3 is 18. And now we can add these two fractions. In order to add the two fractions, you add the two numbers on top. 8 plus 3 is 11. And keep the bottom number the same. 11 over 18 is the answer. Let's add 4 over 10. and 4 over 6. In order to add these two fractions, the bottom number first has to be the same. In order to make the bottom numbers the same, we must first find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 6. And the lowest common multiple of 10 and 6 is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. And 6 times 5 is 30. Knowing this, we can multiply the 10 by 3. 10 times 3 is 30. And if we multiply the bottom number by 3, we have to multiply the top number by 3. And over here, we can multiply the 6 by 5 to get 30. 6 times 5 is 30. And if we multiply the bottom number by 5, we have to multiply the top number by 5. 
So let's do our multiplication. 4 times 3 is 12. 10 times 3 is 30. Over here, 4 times 5 is 20. And 6 times 5 is 30. And now we can add these two fractions because they're both over the same number. Okay, so we add across the top. 12 plus 20 is 32. And keep the bottom number the same. 32 over 30 is the answer. Let's try one more. We'll add 5 over 12. And 10 over 18. In order to add these two fractions, the bottom number has to be the same. In order to make the number the same, we must first find the lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. And 12 times 3 is 36. And 18 times 2 is 36. Now we can make the bottom number 36. Over here, 12 times 3 is 36, so we multiply the 12 by 3. And if we multiply the bottom number by 3, we have to multiply the top number by 3. And over here, we have to multiply the bottom number by 2. 18 times 2 is 36. And if you multiply the bottom number by 2, multiply the top number by 2. We'll do our multiplication. 5 times 3 is 15. 12 times 3 is 36. Here we have 10 times 2 is 20. And 18 times 2 is 36. Now we can add these two fractions because the bottom number is the same. Add across the top, 15 plus 20 is 35, and keep the bottom number the same. 35 over 36, and that's how you add simple fractions.